What's good as a gang? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have to take off this wig, wash my hair, and do my hair. I did this wig pretty fast and I didn't like the outcome because underneath I have like a puff ball. So it looks like really big right here instead of flat because I didn't want to braid it down. So yeah, I don't like it and I just want to wear my natural hair because I bleached it the other day. So that's what we're gonna do. But I want to show you guys how I carefully remove it. Y'all might have seen me talk about it on any of my other social medias, but I keep talking about it because a lot of people don't know about this product. A lot of you guys are still taking off your guys' wig with alcohol, and that's probably why you're losing your edges. Do your research as to why something about like your pores opening up or something and um, the alcohol weakening your hair, which is why it falls out. Been there, done that right before I gave birth to my daughter, so about three years ago. I kept doing that and I lost like half an inch around the perimeter of my hair. A year later, I got a new hairstylist and she told me about this. This is a lifesaver you can get at your beauty store for between like six to $10. It's called C22 Solvent and it's supposed to melt it within a minute to spray on adhesive area reaction time is as little as one minute depending on the adhesive buildup wipe or brush off residue shampoo and rinse so that's what we're gonna do this hair has only been on me for like 48 hours so i'm pretty sure it is a lot of adhesive buildup so we're just gonna rub it in and then i'm gonna put y'all on to the products that i've been using and that i'm excited about so i'm just lightly like rubbing it See how it easily comes off? I'm barely putting any pressure. Boom. As you can see, all the glue is still on there. And then to take off that glue, spray some more, let it sit, and then take a comb and you comb it off. I didn't know that there was a lot of people that didn't know how to take that off either. You're gonna have drippage, it's fine. That's why I usually take off my wigs first and or style my wigs and then hop in the shower because it could get messy. Let me know if y'all are the same way, but I hate when I wait to the last minute to take off my wig and I have to install a new wig the same day because I feel like my hair, like where the uh, glue was, is so inflamed and irritated. It's uncomfortable, I just need it to breathe. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray some more. Yeah, you're gonna be spraying a lot. I've used this about three times and this is where I'm at. But I feel like for the price, it's a really good offer. This is a little tedious, but you're guaranteed your edges. And whatever doesn't come off, like you could scrape off with the comb. Let me see it come right off. Gently brush it out. This comb is really dirty because it's been through so much, but if you can see, it's coming out just fine. Yes. You can spray that and that, and then you can get my pigment out. Mm -hmm. Yay! I brushed it all out. Now I'm going to wash it with shampoo. If I was switching installs, I would not put that much. I would just put just enough and wipe it off with a paper towel, like damp it off with a paper towel. But since I'm rocking my natural hair, I'm just going to take it all off. Or I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna wash it right now. It feels really weird. I hate the way it feels right now. But I got some new product that I've been using and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna tell you about it in a minute. But I let it sit on the wig and now I'm just going to brush it off. Brush it off. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can feel it breaking up. You can see it breaking up. All that glue coming out. Mm -hmm. After I get the bulk of the glue off, I'll just wash my wig with shampoo and conditioner. Usually the cheapest one that I could find because it's just a wig. Um, if I was keeping them for longer, I might just use the good shampoo and conditioner that I have for my natural hair, but yeah, I don't, so they gotta go. <laughs> but yeah, just use hot water. It's gonna make it come off so much easier and so much faster. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys about the products that I was talking about. So if you guys have been keeping up with like my hair journey, my hair color and all of that, you guys know that recently I started using Brad Mondo's color. His team had reached out to me and now I'm an ambassador. I've been using their products because they've been sending me stuff, but now I loved it so much that they told me that I could be an ambassador. So of course I couldn't give up that offer.
offer. They asked me if I wanted anything else and I'm always doing color. So I found out the color that I wanted, which I mixed a bunch of colors. You guys gotta watch that video of me touching up my hair. But yeah, I found my color. So I was like, I don't want any more color stuff because I don't see myself switching my hair color anytime soon. So I got like some repair kit treatment. So it's a shampoo, a conditioner, a bonding cream, and a bond repair leave-in cream. Curly hair in general is pretty dry and if it's color treated it's even drier and y'all know i've been coloring my hair for a long time so you know i want to try to restore it as much as possible so i thought i tried another brand and i've already used it one time and my hair smells amazing i love the smell it smells like a freaking salon i used to leave in but i didn't use the bun repair treatment so that's what i'm going to do today when i come back i'm gonna talk to y'all but i'm gonna use this and i'll be right back so this is what my hair looks like i haven't done anything but put on the leave-in conditioner that i came with it was the first time using that repair cream thingy i left it on for like 20 minutes it said 10 minutes but i left it on for 20 minutes because i was doing stuff and that one smells more like cologne but i actually love the smell the repair system didn't come with like a styler or anything so i'm just gonna use this from another brand that i use that i hype up all the products that i usually use are on my amazon storefront whatever you can buy off of the amazon so that's gonna be in the description but also the brad mondo whole line i have a feeling my hair is gonna turn out good regardless of the finger coils that i'm about to do because of how it looks wet naturally sometimes i wash and style my hair and my curls are not as formed but it very much could be because i did a treatment and i don't usually do a treatment so yeah but yeah if you're interested in anything brad mondo i do have a discount because you all know your girl's an ambassador anytime that i use products i try to put that in the description so if you don't know now you know i'm going to go ahead and i have a little bit of this curl custard left i literally have like nothing left and i'm noticed for like using products and then like switching to another product to see what it's like hence why i keep switching my products but there's so many good products out there y'all should be happy because then some of them are less expensive than others but anyway Anyway, I'm just gonna use the rest of this and then I'm going to go in with this for the rest of my hair. I don't remember the last time I did these. I don't think I've ever done these. Maybe one time. So this should be interesting. I'm gonna let it air dry for the rest of the night. But first things first, I'm gonna have to put my hair growth oil. They just sent me literally another... <laughs> <laughs> they be hooking a girl up oh my goodness if you guys think about becoming an influencer please do it please take it seriously because all your favorite products are gonna just get handed to you like it's nothing but being an influencer this field is getting more and more saturated so you gotta take it serious and you really gotta be consistent more than ever but y'all hear me y'all see me rave about this is the glam room the glam room stuff all the time they're another amazing company and their stuff is natural. They have like skincare, hair care, all that stuff. So I'm just going to put it in my hair before I start because I haven't done it in a long time because I didn't have the product. I don't want to be in the bathroom anymore because I'm tired of standing up. So I'm about to go get my tripod and go sit down. If you're a curly head and you feel like you have your perfect products for your hair, let everybody else in the comments know. Don't be gatekeeping. I see I don't be gatekeeping. I'll be telling y'all to see. Hair washed, scalped, oiled. Now it's time to style it. It's all finger coiled just gotta do this completely ran out so so much for this this is gonna be on my amazon storefront uh, sad about that but now i'm gonna go to this thingy run my fingers through it make it almost soaking wet
okay it's currently midnight and i've just been sitting down moving here and there this is looking so stiff i think i put too much product <laughs> But we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this turns out. Still looking luscious. Smells <sighs> smells amazing. But I probably have like one or two more hours in me because I'm cleaning up um before it's time to go to bed. So I should have did this earlier this morning so I had all day for it to air dry, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna figure it out. It's currently two in the morning and I can't take it anymore. It was about ninety percent dry. <laughs> Oh, there's my Spanish coming out. Um, 90% dry. I have a concoction on my nose because my piercing had a bump. Probably because of my makeup. I was putting makeup on my piercing. Thinking that I'll be okay because I've never had a bump on my piercing before. Look at me, a clown. Oh, I need to change my shirt. Oh, this is from my hair products. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. Actually, it's the next night because I could not get out of bed to save my life. But all I did was pull out some hair so I could have some little frays or whatever, some edges, you know what I'm saying? I was watching a movie and I don't usually do eyeshadow, but I was so into the movie and I just started doing stuff. I didn't want to stop doing my makeup. So yeah, I did some extra stuff. So I have a feeling it's going to be like crusty. I ain't going to lie to you because it's just been sitting Yeah. Mommy, look. Let me try to finesse. Let me try to shake this out. Okay, definitely more definition than what I would usually have. This is like an aspirin paste that I have on my nose. Let's try to get rid of the piercing bump that I have. Definitely way too defined. Y'all know that I prefer volume over definition. I don't have that many layers because it's been a long time since I've got in like a curly cut. I feel like I don't like it as much as I probably would if I did have a cut, but it's fine. I just gotta wear it in a hairstyle down is not it my bangs are like non-existent oh that one's a cute one all in all i think it did come out really good it's just not my preference i feel like if i had let it dry all day and not sleep on it you know obviously it wouldn't be like that but at least my hair smell good maybe i can try to finesse it a little bit this might work for some people I'm just not that person. Unless I can make it like fluffy, but then I feel like it's gonna be too fluffy at the top and too defined at the bottom. Maybe brush out the top. This is kind of cute. Oh yeah, I could do this. This is easy. I could live with this. I need to put some earrings in. I would like brush this out flat, but I'm afraid that I'm gonna mess it up. And then when I wanna put it in a messy bun, it's gonna look weird and then I'm gonna have to wash and redo my hair again. I feel like this is a good medium. And then when I'm ready, I'll probably put it in like two pigtails up here, like the half up, half down, but two pigtails. I don't know y'all. I've been inspired to like try new hairstyles lately because I always just did all the way up or all the way down. I just got some random mousse. I haven't used mousse since my older sister used to use mousse. And you know, like if you have siblings, like older siblings, like you really look after them and like you see how beautiful they are and like you see how they get their looks and stuff like that. Well, my sister used to use mousse and then she tried mousse on me and I hated it. But now I'm coming back to it because like I see that a lot of people use them for wigs. So I started using them for wigs. And then when I ran out of my gel or whatever, I felt like works at the time because I always switch out my products. I went to this and I feel like I really like this for my edges because my edges are already curly. I don't really have to do anything. And I don't really like edges that stick to my face, especially if I have makeup on. But if they're like dark, like my natural color hair, then they can stick on my face. If you color hair, then you already know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so mousse gives me like that fluffy edges like it doesn't stick to my scalp plus the edges that you that sticks to your face sometimes that comes up and when it comes up it just looks so ratchet so i feel like this looks cute it looks effortless okay period 